So once again, let's come to the seated position to start and get those hips warmed up a little bit. So as always, we're creatures of habit, so you know, reverse your legs. Take a moment to get those sitting bones behind you, your core activated with that support for your low back. So ribs toward your spine and up the length and through the whole spine. Keep that base of the skull reaching up along with the top of the head. And keep the shoulders back and down. Take a moment and just breathe. And then draw the ribs toward the back of your body and toward the wall behind you. Tuck in your chin slightly and just get as long through the back of your body as you can. And then pull the ribs forward, look forward, and slightly up toward the ceiling. But remember, don't lift your chin too high. You want to keep stretching that back in your neck. Little back bend through the whole spine. And again, exhale, drawing in, lengthening through the back. Inhaling, lengthening through the back, even as you go into that back bend. Keep that skull stretching away. And then back to neutral. And take a moment to feel your spine a little bit more activated. Hands to your side, bring them out, palms toward the ceiling and up. Stretch up and then turn to one side in your twist, hand to the outside of the knee, the other one right behind you on the floor. Stretch up, exhale, deepen your twist, maybe a little further. Keep looking as far toward the back as your neck wants to go. Keep that sitting body you're moving away from slightly up so you can keep turning that lower back there again. Take a breath, just exhale and relax. And then inhale, lift your arms, turning back to the center, and release. And go ahead and switch your legs so we can do the other direction. And again, sitting bones behind you, spine really stretching open, arms at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, and stretch up through the head and fingers. Exhale, turn into your twist. Hand to the knee and the other one right behind you on the floor. Stretch up, get that spine open. Exhale, turn deeper into your twist. So hips slightly up so that low back moves. Shoulder coming around for the middle back and head turning for your neck. Take a breath, relaxing into it. And again, on an inhalation, bring your arms back up, turning to the center and releasing. Feel your body and let the shoulders come back and down a couple of times. And release. Bring your ear over to one side. From your hand that you're tipping toward up to the top of your head, add weight, not pressure. And put the other hand down, getting that side stretching a little bit more through the neck and shoulders. Take a breath. Just relax. And then bring that hand down and release head back to skirt. And now let's switch the legs one more time and we'll stretch the other side of your neck. So ear over to the side, bring the hand up. And again, that weight, not pressure. Push the other hand down, maybe a little bit more if you like that stretch. Take a breath, everything facing forward. Exhaling and relaxing. And again, bring the hand down, releasing back into the center. Bring your legs out to the front, into staff position, and press out through the bottoms of the feet, up through the crown. Take a moment to breathe. One hand to the floor, the other one out, palm up over your shoulder, and slide over to the side as far as you'd like to go. Both sitting bones down on this one. You want that rib area open, sitting bone down. And reach out through the head and your feet. Inhale and come up, release that one. Take a moment, feel your body. Bring the other hand out, palm to the ceiling, hand over your shoulder. Slide it away the other direction. Push the sitting bone you're leaning away from down. Reach out through your head and your hand. Deeply and as you go. Keep pushing out through the bottoms of your feet at the same time. And then come on back up 
and shoulders back and down. Sitting bones behind you, core active, and stretch your spine up and bring one foot to the opposite thigh, letting that hip release a little bit more. Again, you can put your hands on your knee, but remember, no pressure. Just let the added weight bring your knee a little further down. If it's tight today, bring that other front leg over to the side or get a little pillow behind you for a little bit of pelvic opening. Take a moment and breathe. Remember, when you exhale, just relax. That's let, letting your knee, your leg, your hip, everything release a little bit more. Breathe into it. Exhale, just release. And then bring your foot and knee into your hands or pull your leg in closer with your arms wrapped around and move back and forth, getting that hip releasing even more. So feel that outside of the hip, let it release and relax. Bring it a little higher, that makes it more intense, but be gentle, however much you need. And then release and come back into step position. We're going to, of course, balance the body because the two sides now feel really, really different. So bring the other foot up and let the knee come down. And again, you can add the weight of your hands if you want to. You can bring the leg over to the side, but keep the knee and toes up, pressing out through that bottom of the foot. And exhaling, relaxing this whole leg. No pressure, no tension in your shoulders, just relax. Take a breath, let it go. And then again, bring the foot and knee into your hands, or pull it in and work back and forth. Getting a little bit more motion through that hip pelvis outside of your leg. Make it more intense if you love it, or don't. Always personal practice. And then releasing that, come back into staff position. Bring the feet to the end of the mat. Activate your core. And we're going to slowly roll all the way down onto your back. So bring your lower back, sacrum, lower ribs, shoulder blades, and finally your shoulders and head to the floor. Take a moment, just relax there, and find integration, letting everything soften and sink. Get your feet hip width apart. Push your sitting bones toward your heels. Bring your heels in right next to your sitting bones. Knees straight up. So remember, Rolling maybe a little at the top of the thigh to make sure those knees stay straight up, not sweating apart. Press your back gently down. Bring your right foot up and put the ankle on the left knee. Take your right hand onto your right knee. Press it slightly away. Take your left hand behind your thigh and lift your foot and pull the left knee in while you're pushing the right hand into the knee. So just a gentle stretch. You'll feel it in the outside of that hip. Let it relax. So this is supposed to be really good for sciatica. We do it on both sides, of course. What we're trying to do is release that hip pelvis a little bit more. So just pull in or push out, whichever is more effective for you. Take a breath. And of course, on your own, you can do this for even longer and make it more effective. Up from there, bring your foot down, bring your right leg up and straighten it around and put the foot back, heel right next to that sitting bone. Again, just gently pressing the back down, sitting bone slightly towards your heels, reach that left leg and put the ankle by the right knee. Hand on the left knee, left hand on the left knee, right hand pulling in on that right thigh, foot up off the floor. And again, maximize or minimize. Remember, personal practice doing what feels right for your body as you come into your four position. Take a breath. So that everything to shift around through that lower body. Exhale, any tension. Keep those sitting bones kind of pushing away from you. Back just gently toward the floor. 
pulling in the right leg and pushing away that left knee. Breathing, exhaling tension. And again, when you're ready, just bring the foot down, hands to the floor, bring that leg up and straighten it, and bring the heel in close to your sitting bones. Feet flat on the floor. Slide those sitting bones even further down, get that whole lower back connecting. We're going to go up into a little bridge. So lift the hip bones straight up. Hands are on the floor, come up onto your shoulders, not your neck. Keep the back of your head down on the floor and just keep lifting through those hip bones. Make sure the knees are still straight up, not spreading apart or caving in. And just work maybe a little higher with those hip bones and heart going up. Feel that whole body lifting. Hands at your sides, release the shoulders, come onto your shoulder blades and the lower ribs and all the way onto your back. Take a moment there and breathe. Draw your knees in toward your heart. Bring your head up toward your knees. Give yourself a good stretch hug. And then head back down, hands to the floor, feet again down. Put those heels right near your sitting bones. Knees straight up. We're going to press the whole back down into the floor. And then we're going to lift the ribs and pull those sitting bones down so you get that arch up under your low back. So strengthening the low back, turning your abs, pushing down, and then arching up. So you can do it just a little if you're challenged, or if you want a lot of work through that area, you can lift and push as much as you want. You want that whole back going down, and then everything arching up. And remember, as much or as little as you like. You want to feel those abs working as you pull down. And you want to feel them releasing as you arch up and let that back of your body support you. So just a few times going through that range of And then coming back to neutral, slide your legs out. Bring your arms up overhead. Give yourself a good stretch. And then push one foot out and the opposite arm. And then release back to neutral. And then push the other hand and foot out. And again, release to neutral. First side, one foot, opposite hand. Back to neutral and the other way. And back to the tree. At the moment, just stretching along, both feet and hands stretch. And then bring your hands up parallel, right above your shoulders. Lead with your heart, pull your body all the way up, and reach for your toes, yoga set up. And then coming back, sitting straight into staff position. Bring your legs back out in front into step position. So once again, we're going to stretch the spine. Bring one knee up close to your body. Wrap your arms around it. Pull in. Keep the opposite arm around the knee. And the other arm comes out at shoulder level. Stretch your spine apart. Exhale, follow your hand into the twist, turning toward that leg. Bring your hand down close to your body on the floor. Stretch up from the sitting bones to the crown. And then let the hip you're moving away from come up a little bit as you turn further into the leg toward that hand behind you. Keep it close to your body on the floor. Keep the leg pulling in in the front. Keep that other foot pushing out in the front as well. Take a breath. Deepen your twist as much as you want. Bring your hand up, follow it back around, and release the hand and the leg. Feel that twist energy move through you. Take another breath. Exhale, tension. Bend your opposite knee and pull that heel in close to you. 
Wrap your both arms around and give it a good hug. Stretch up through the spine. Keep the opposite arm around the knee. Bring the other hand out. Stretch up from the sitting bones, out through that foot in front. Exhale, hand coming around behind you. Drop it close to your body on the floor. Stretch up, exhale, deepen your twist. So let the hip come up slightly as you turn, making sure that you're not overworking that low back as you go into your twist. Stretch up, shoulder back, turn your head slightly. Exhale, deepen. And then again, bring your hand up, follow it back to the center, and release your hands and it. Take a moment again, just feeling your body a little bit more energized by the twist energy. Bring your feet together and pull the heels in close to your body and into butterfly position. Take a moment, just relaxing that inner thigh area, letting the knees come down toward the floor. You can bring your hands or arms onto the knees for a little added weight if you want to. And think about letting the bottoms of your feet kind of rotate up toward the ceiling. That's supposed to make it easier through the hips, squeeze, and legs. Take a breath, shoulders relaxing, ground reaching up. And again, we're going to keep the body in, or the lower body in butterfly position. We're going to bring the hands near you, arms out, palms toward the ceiling, stretch up. And as you exhale, pivot forward. So push the sitting bones further behind you. Keep your arms by your ears and bring your kind of chin down toward your feet. So you probably won't get real far. That's okay. Just relax. Let those knees come down. Let that body pivot at that hip joint. Stretch those sitting bones back. Stretch the head and fingertips forward. Exhale, maybe go a little deeper. And then inhale, coming all the way back up. Keep those shoulders and shoulder blades down. Hands, palms out as you bring the hands back toward the feet. Take a moment and breathe. Feel your legs, your knees, your hips, and oh yeah, your spine too. And then lift your knees, bring the legs back out into the front. Press out through the bottoms of your feet, up through the crown. Shoulders and shoulder blades relaxing. Bring one foot into that upper thigh, knee out to the side. And then bring that heel back near your hip on that other leg. Remember, not under it. You want to let that hip be up because we're twisting. Remember, to the first leg going into our diving ball. So stretch the spine apart. Exhale, turn toward your first one. Ribs in, tuck the chin slightly, dive under, forehead down, exhaling under one. Rotate your face to the front, lift your heart, and look up, slightly coming up. Remember, keep stretching that vast back of your neck, facing the skull as you breathe in on the way up. Exhaling, diving under, you're the dolphin. Be as playful and fast or slow as your body wants to go down. You want to feel that full spine, forward bending on the way down and backward bending on the way up. As you breathe, exhaling underwater, diving down and inhaling, coming up to the sun. Shoulder, shoulder blades down. And then on an exhalation, turn to the center. And release your legs, coming back into staff position, feeling that spine and all the stimulation. And of course, our dolphin wants to go the opposite way along the shore. So get those sitting bones behind you, bring one foot to that inner thigh, knee out to the side, and the heel back near the other. Stretch up, keep this hip up as you exhale and turn into the twist. Pulling that whole body around to face your knee. For activated, coming down, rotating the forehead toward the knee, and then facing the front, lifting the heart, coming up. Stretch that back of your neck the whole way, whichever direction you're going. Forward bending down or backward bending up. 
Just feel the spine lengthening and stretching whichever direction you're going. Keep the heart open as you go. Feeling the back of the heart open as you dive in the floor again and the front as you inhale up. And then again on an exhalation, turn back to the center, coming back into stack pose. Feel your body a little bit more activated. Stretch up through the crown, relax the shoulders down. Don't forget to breathe. And then we're going to do another twist. So sitting bones behind you. Pull the knee in again. Let's do the right knee first. Pull it in close to you. Take your right shoulder inside the knee and wrap your right arm back towards your hip. And then pull the shoulder and the knee in toward each other. Other arm coming around. And see if you can clasp your hands behind you. If you can, straighten up. If you can't, just bring the hand behind you to the floor, close to your body. Stretch up, get that knee and shoulder really connecting for a little opening through the shoulder, through the heart. Exhale, turn, and you can look with your head turning toward that shoulder behind you. Take a breath. Exhale, tension. So keep the knee and shoulder on that front part pulling together. Keep that other shoulder pulling back further behind you. And just keep turning your chin to look toward that shoulder behind you. And then lengthen up through your spine. And then turn only your head looking toward the shoulder in the front. Again, stretch up. Exhale, turn your head back and look toward that shoulder behind you. Release your hands, bring the hand up to shoulder level, back toward the front, and release the arms and shoulders and the leg. Feel your body a little bit more stimulated. Take a breath, exhale any tension. And of course, yeah, we've got to do that twist to the opposite side. Sitting bones behind you, shoulders back and down, stretch the spine apart, pull your knee in, Feel close to your body. Stretch up. Pull the left arm inside the left knee. Wrap the arm back near your hip. And again, stretch up. Bring the arm at shoulder level. Follow it around. And either bring the hand to the floor behind you or clasp your hands behind you. Stretch up. Pull in with that knee and shoulder into each other. Turn your head turning your whole body into the twist toward that shoulder behind you. Take a moment and breathe, lengthen up, exhale, turn your head toward the front knee. Take a breath, or front shoulder back. Take a breath and relax, stretch it up again, and again, exhale, head turning toward the back shoulder. Breathe in. Just relax, keep stretching up through the crown, through the base of the skull. And then release the hand behind you, bring it around, following it back, releasing the shoulder and the hands and the leg back into staff position. Feel your body, bring your feet to the end of the mat. Again, activating your core and slowly rolling on to your back. As you get all the way down on the floor, take a moment, just relax, and bring your arms out to T position. Sitting bones toward your heels, back pressing down, draw those heels in near your sitting bones, and keep the back down. Knees straight up, take your right leg across the left leg, crossing your legs, bring the left foot up off the floor. We're doing our twist with that leg crossed, so bring that Right knee over toward the left, right at hip level. It may never make it to the floor. That's perfectly okay. That's that lower back and hip area going into the chest. Turn your head toward the right arm behind you. And let the neck area get into the chest. So remember, you need to be stretching that spine apart because twists, we want those bones to separate and stretch apart so that they can have a room to move. Take a breath. 
Just letting you come down to that lower back twist. Head turning for your neck area twist. Always personal practice what's right for you. Take a breath and just close your eyes, focusing inward, letting the twist happen. Shoulders down for that middle back twist. And of course, hold your twist longer on your own, but for now, just heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back, uncross your leg. You can bring the feet to the floor and straighten it out so we're ready to twist the other leg. Again, hands, palms up or down. Cross the left leg over the right. Right foot up off the feet. Take a breath. Right at, show, at hip level, bring those knees down. Turn your head toward the shoulder behind you. And just relax into your twist from the seat. So again, keep the shoulders down to the middle back twist. Keep your head turning, but stretching away for that neck area twist. And then we're coming down as far as it wants toward the floor for that lower back and hip area to get into the twist. Take a breath. Just let it relax as deeply as it wants. Personal practice always doing what's right for you or not. And exhale, tension. Deepen a little bit more. Really relax. And of course, if you have a chance to do it longer, take that opportunity. But for now, heels toward your hips, um, crossing the leg as you bring your feet to the floor and slide them out, getting ready for our final relaxation. Hands at your sides, palms up, let the shoulders sink down into that neck surface beneath you. Sitting by the slightly toward your heels, and then just let your belly soften and sink as much as it wants. Toes toward each other, and then just relax. Everything just releasing. Let your whole body feel that those points touching the mat, touching the earth, feeling the support. Take a breath and let your body go. As you exhale. Soften and sink into that. Deep breaths, just releasing tension, letting your space soften, your hips and pelvis soften, your lower body just sink a little further. And as you breathe more deeply, just allow thoughts of your body to release as your body just grows heavy and sinks into the earth. As you release thoughts of your body, know that other thoughts will come to your mind. It's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. Just let the thoughts drift in and out as easily as your breath, without awareness. Flowing in, flowing out. No need to think of the past or anticipate the future. I don't need to remember anything at this moment. Just let it all drift away as easily as your breath. Allow your focus to turn inward. Focusing on the peace within. Feel your body. Feel your mind. Feel your awareness. With nothing but peace. If you have a chance to keep relaxing your day, just take as long as you have to. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment 
to go on keep it going. As you breathe more deeply, just begin stretching your body gently in whatever way it feels good for you to do. And when you breathe more deeply, stretch more fully when you're ready for that final yoga hug of appreciation. When you're sitting down towards your heels, draw your heels up towards your hips and release in towards your heart. Wrap your arms around for that good appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate this yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And then give yourself a nice little roll around, giving yourself a little massage to that flow back in the hip area today. And when you're ready to release, bring your feet to the floor, head down, and roll over the side, sitting back up, getting whatever. It's a head for me today. Ready. Thanks for joining me.